What's up everybody and welcome to Incursion Red River. This game is pretty much a first person extraction shooter that is single player or co-op set in modern day Vietnam. I actually just found out about it a few days ago after seeing it pop up on Steam. It's got mostly positive reviews and it is in early access at the moment, but I figure today we jump into it, see what it's all about, and kind of just get some first impressions and go from there. So. With that said, uh, as always, if you guys enjoy this, leaving a like on it makes a huge difference, and we'll see if we hit that 20 like goal. If we do, I'll go ahead and put out more episodes and, you know, just test the waters and see how this game does. So, let's go ahead and enter the hideout here. Uh, I haven't done any tutorial, so everything and anything you see right now is completely raw. I haven't even tried it yet, so just be aware that we're going to be learning it. Um, okay, so... Shooting range contains a number of targets. All right, it's pretty basic, obviously. What else do we got? Like a terminal here. Deploy to a mission, okay. We got an inbox as well. Welcome to the Vietnamese Liberation Front. Your decision to join us marks a significant step in the struggle for freedom. You're at VLF. We're driven by passion and resilience, deep for our homeland. Deep love for our homeland. Your abilities have uh, shown through, and we're thrilled to have you on board. You'll be receiving assignments that play to your strengths, contribute to our noble cause. Remember, we're in this fight together. Feel free to reach out if you need support or want to share ideas. United, we pave the way for a free Vietnam. Greetings. Okay. The Iron Guard Corp. Okay. So these are all like different factions, I guess. We joined three different factions. <laughs> okay. Funny, that's actually the date for today, too. We have $5,000. There's a job board, trader, and deploy. Okay, so, yeah, this is definitely where you select your mission. Let me see if I go over here. Stash. Your stash has all your equipment, uh, or where is where all your equipment is stored. Manage your loadout, weapon attachments, and even upgrade the amount of space and stash. Okay. So I kind of see where this is going so far. We got an AK-74U. Ah, okay. So is it... It really is an extraction shooter. Like, whatever you bring in with you, if you die, I'm guessing you lose it all in there. All right, well, let's just try selecting a mission. I'm going to go in solo. Um, as of right now, I think this game doesn't have, like, any type of uh, PvP or anything like that. It's strictly single player or co-op, which... To be honest, I'm kind of down with. I, I kind of like something like that. Silent infiltration. Install the bugs. Go to a military base. Install the bugs. Survive the uh, and extract from the area at one of the extraction points. So you get 2,000. You get an ACOG. Okay, what's this one? Go to the marked outpost on the map and secure the intel. Install jammers. I feel like... Doing a stealth mission first time is not the brightest idea. So let's try going. Let's go VLF. We're going to track this. Oh, so you have secure in place and then you have sabotage. All right, we'll try that. And then what about this? So you get contracts and you get challenges. Assassination, restock, and survival. Can you track multiple ones? Oh, you can only track one contract, but you can track multiple uh, challenges. It looks like you can do three of them. Sell five fuel. Sell five or three prepared items or uh, meal prep, prepped meals. It's the same thing. All right, we have. Yeah, I'll try it, I guess. <laughs> What's this one? Oh, here we go. There's one survive too. All right, instead, let's get rid of one of these and let's do this. That way we've got sell to a vendor, prepped meal three times, sell five fuel to a vendor, and then also survive and extract three successfully from a raid. Okay, we got a trader. Because if you want to buy and sell. Alright, let's do the private session. 
rival time. Alright, so we're selecting the quarry here. Oh, you can actually change your time that you're going to arrive. It's either going to be 3 p.m. or 3 a.m. Or almost 4 a.m. Let's see if it's 4 a.m. Like, still daytime, I guess. Loadout custom provided. All right, let's do it. Deploy. Give it a shot. Let's see what this game is all about. Yeah, I saw... Uh, the, actually, the way I found this game out was I saw the streamer Lyric uh, booted it up, or he brought it up on screen. His chat was recommending it. And then I was like, man, I can't believe I've never heard of this before. So I had to look into it. And then I said, you know what? Not sure if this would be great for a live stream, but I feel like for potentially a off stream, like kind of spin off, I guess you could say, see how it is, get some feel for it. Um, because I, supposedly it's got a, a good amount of work that it still needs, but it is a good starting point. So I'm always down for something like that. Welcome to the quarry. This is currently the only map, the early access version it has several points of interest, such as the factory, military base, and of course the quarry. Global Combat Positioning System lets you view the map and show all possible extraction zones and objective locations. You can also see your teammates' positions. By default, you can draw this uh, GCPS with 4. Take a look at the keybind setting to modify that. Okay. This is the only map so far. Secure the container. There's an extraction area right there. Mission Intel Extraction Zone right there. Okay. Pretty small map, but like I said, it's early access so far, so I guess we'll see. Okay. See what we got. Did I just drop the magazine? Hopefully, I did not. Oh, we're already getting shot at. From behind. Yep. All right, I'm getting get behind cover. Off to a great start. Hold on, let me see if I can change my uh, gameplay. Toggle crouch. There we go. Let's toggle sneak. I should have looked at over the controls, I guess. All right, night vision, toggle attachment, firing mode X, point shooting cycle uh, sights, interact. Left alt is sneak. Is it like a slow walk? Yeah, it looks like it. I think I got a beat on. Got him. Can I go and loot his body? Here he is. Loot dead body. All right. Um, yeah, let's... Can I take this stuff? I can put it into my backpack. Let me guess. We got to rotate. Yep. I can't equip this. This is secondary. Item is not compatible. What is this? An old radio. Food container. Take the magazine as well. If I can fit it, maybe not. Wait, does this do the... Hold on, I gotta test it. Does this do the uh, Tarkov thing where you can throw like a backpack inside of a backpack? Ah, oh, shoot. Let me try dropping this. Just too big. I put this back up here. Let's see. Yep. <laughs> you can. Okay, hold on. I'll take the backpack. I don't know if we really need the gun. I mean, yes, I would take it if I could, but... At the same time, that's... Uh, I don't even know what we need yet, so... Alright, we'll stick with this. 
All right, let's get moving. So I'm going to try going over to this mission intel. So you follow this road, then there should be a compound. It's like he puts his weapon on, on safe. I think when you uh, pull out this. I mean, so far the game looks pretty clean. It's running good so far too. A little bit of like, there's a stutter for like a millisecond, but I think it just might be the game simply loading. I love the atmosphere sound effects. All right, so I think the item that I need is inside that building right there. We're just going to slowly move up here. I did see that there's AI difficulty settings. Right now, it's just on like the default, which is mid, I think, like medium. I don't see anybody. The tank up there. Oh, there's a few guys. Pretty sure that's exactly where the objective is oh, okay now it's over in so if we're looking right at that it's gonna be to the right I'm assuming all the people that we see are gonna be hostiles Secondary, do I have a secondary? I don't. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, contract failed. What happens from here? Hide out. Listen, we're learning it. We're still getting a feel for it. So, first attempt, not great, but it is what it is. All right, so, well, now we can test what happens when you die. All right, so you do lose your, yep, you lose everything. So you lose your backpack, you lose your helmet, all that. Bring some ammo here. Do I have a technical, tactical rig? I do. So personally, whenever it comes to like extraction shooters, I'm definitely the type of person where I play it very safe. Um, I mean, I'm not and Tarkov expert or anything like that. I'm very much a noob, even when it comes to that game. Um, I wouldn't mind bringing a pistol here, but I think I'm going to. This way I'm a little bit more prepared and we'll see what happens. All right, so we got weaponry, ammunition, gear, medical. Oh, so you can buy more uh, inventory space. That's kind of nice. There's also weapon boxes that so you can put like your weapons in here instead of filling up all of your uh, your standard stash, I guess. Definitely a decent amount of uh, inventory space. Okay, cool. Let's try jumping right into the next match. We got 4 p.m. Let's try doing AM this time. Disappointing elapse in execution can unravel the most intricate plans. No compensation for subpar performance. Reflect, learn, and prepare for redemption. I expect better. I'll do my best. All right, we got nothing but sabotage. 
All right, we can try this. They got to place place a bomb and then extract. Go to the bridge and place the bomb. Do we have to pick up new challenges too? Okay, so the challenges re remain. Contracts change though. All right, let's go in. Back to the quarry. Give this another shot. Okay. Kind of like how it works for the uh, the loading screen. That's cool. Once you get into the lobby and then everybody readies up and then you actually load into the match. Waiting for game to start. At least the sun is going to be coming up rather than going down here, so. Okay, so three. Let's see. The three is your uh, holstered weapon. I guess it's always the same uh, point to load in. All relevant items can be collected here. All right, so this time we just got to go up the road to the right. Place those. Open container. Aha. See, what would have happened if I didn't bring a backpack here? Is there anything I can even carry this with? There's a tablet. Oh, that's just our navigation device. Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to bring anything with me if I didn't bring the backpack. Contact. Got him. See another guy. No. Alright, so it turns out there's always a guy that spawns right by where you spawn. At least. Okay, there we go. We got a secondary. We got an MP5. Not bad, not bad. I like to see this. Well, can I put this into... Ooh. Oh, it's because he doesn't have a backpack. Take that secondary. Make sure it's ready. Cool. Alright, let's move up. So we pretty much just gotta follow this road. I think this this game could be really cool too if you had like a little AI team some sort of uh, companion system would be really nice like ready or not but jungle version uh, the bridge looks like it's already pretty destroyed but sure we can put more stuff there alright we're moving up hurt somebody Oh, he saw me. I think I got yeah, that's one down. See what he got.
Okay, you just had a you had another MP5, but try going for the objective. It's always hard to tell like are they going to are the enemies going to be insanely difficult and they're going to spot me in a second like Arma or are they going to be a little bit dumb? Uh and it seems like so far like they're not the brightest, but definitely got to be careful too. Is it bedroll, spray can and toolbox. I mean, I'll I'll take it. I don't know what they do yet, but sure. Which I, I've recently, speaking of arm, I've been seeing uh, Reforgers taken off again. So I've, I've really wanted to jump into that for a little bit now. Do we need to put this on this side? So you might have to keep a, keep a lookout for a Reforger episode at some point. I can't tell if we need to get over the edge. I'm looking for like an indicator saying like, oh, place the item here. Okay. I guess it's right. Ah, there it is. Got it. We got to activate it. All right, I'm running. Guessing I have to activate it. No? Do we have a detonator? Okay, we placed one there. Is that all we have to do is just place it? Oh, maybe that's all we have to do. All right, running back south to the other bridge. Yeah, it's definitely a cool concept. Um, without a doubt, this game is an early access. Like I said, I, I would love to do a, a mission like this with some AI. Even if the AI aren't the brightest, just being able to command them around would be kind of cool. Um, I'm sure playing co-op and maybe, maybe we'll do an online match. We'll see. Um, just to try to get into a match first of all but I think that could be kind of cool definitely seeing more maps and all that would be a, a good start but like I said I mean so far the game's running good it looks pretty good no complaints there I also wonder if there's more enemies that spawn in, like if you play uh, multiplayer, because right now, what, we've run into two guys at at once? Besides the, my first match, where I got destroyed. Okay, yeah, I'm going to toggle that. got to be some guys over here. Is that gold? It looks like two pieces of gold. Nah, it must be like hazard lights or something. I go put the thing somewhere over here. Oh. Further to the right. There it is. Okay. <laughs> oh, we're putting a. Uh, okay, sure. 
We're just going to put it on the wall that's already half destroyed. Hey, that's fine. It's all good. All right, now we just need to extract. Oh, and this is actually an extraction zone. Opens in six minutes. So this one opens. The one over here is automatically open. Well, I could sit here and wait for six minutes, right? But that wouldn't be too exciting. So even if I end up absolutely getting wrecked, let's explore the map a little bit more and try going for the one in the back. We just check to make sure. Yeah. So once we get around this wall or building, we'll go left and then straight and then left again. Let's see if there's anything in here. Nope. Pretty bare bones. There's also a little bit of grass coming through. A loot crate. Okay. Or loot the container. Yeah, I'm not sure how long we'll actually end up going here, but... And this is kind of why I wanted to do this as a video rather than a live stream, because I'm not sure I could turn this into a two and a half hour, or three hour stream of some early access games, but so glad I got to try it so far. Probably try to run at least one or two more contracts Let's see what happens if we can actually buy any items maybe as a scope I don't see anybody in before I see like two or three people see somebody slowly move up Give it a second. I see my, my stamina is dropping like crazy. From holding the aim down sights for too long. Pretty sure there's a guy coming around this corner. Man, that airfield is blazing. He's right here. Hold.
I swore I heard somebody else back there. Go like this. Backpack inside a backpack. Got it. Alright, let's move. Okay, so there is a sprint mechanic. Our extraction is right over there. Let's oh getting shot at. I'm moving. Cracked in 10. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. All right. We shot like what? Three people. <laughs> they got uh, actually first time to extract. Loading times is pretty fast. So that that's nice. Um, I mean, that's the one thing that I always struggle with with Tarkov is... Uh, Man, the loading times for that game is off. Sometimes. It's one of the reasons I honestly don't play it. Because you could be waiting in a lobby for a good uh, 10 minutes at times. But, okay, cool. That's pretty nice. Uh, let's see what happens if we open up this. So, we completed that job. Remarkable for your efforts. You have been effectively crippled at UIC's supply chain. Excellent job. Eagerly awaiting the next collaboration. Receive rewards. So we got a radio. All right. Install bugs. It would be nice if you could see where it's at on the map. Let's try this. Let's try install bug. And then can I get potentially a scope at all? Okay, so AK-74, uh, they're only 1,000. We made 8,000 already. There's a decent amount of weapons in here. Can we see attachments at all? There's painkillers. Here's some attachments. Okay. How about an AK, like, scope? Let's go... Sight? AR-15. Scar front sight. Compatible search. Just wanted to see what would happen if I typed in something. So it looks like the AR-15s or the, uh, yeah, hollow sight. Scar M2 rear sight. I mean, for 50 bucks, that's not too bad. How much, uh, let's see. Can I even buy the AR-15? There's a scar right there. Hattable search. Okay. 30 round dust cover. That's kind of nice that you can look at your weapons and then also toggle, like, uh, say if I go to pistol, I can click on that, go compatible search and see what's available for this. Yeah, so there's a laser sight. Okay, that's cool. I like that. I guess these are all the default items, and if you want to swap in the uh, flashlight or something like that, or the slide. Nice. So we don't have any sights that we can really use for those. Uh, let's throw this away. I'll hold on to this equipment for right now. Let's try doing another one. Give it a shot. All right, job board. We got that one still. Challenges. I didn't really find any 
uh, food items, and I didn't find any fuel either. But we did get one out of three successfully from the raids, though. Select the quarry again. And let's go... Ooh. Okay. Yeah, let's go 6... 6.57 a.m. Loin in. Yeah, this is a cool game so far. Like I said, I mean, it's it's definitely early on, but I, I like what they've got so far. Um, maybe we'll try doing a online mode. I can definitely see this being friend, uh, fun with friends. Say if you had like two people or even just like duo, it could be a good time. Dropping in and then uh, having other enemies to take out and all that. Add in multiple maps too, and that's pretty sick. We're going to put all these in here. So all the equipment drops in this little crate. Got to watch out for the guy that's going to spawn to my right, probably. And we got to go over there to clear out all the bugs. Take care of this guy first. Watch him not spawn here this time. I'm moving. Now that I'm kind of getting a feel, let's see if we can uh, pump it up a bit. Now that what? We're 30, 36 minutes in. Let's pump it up. See if I can take down some guys. Move a little bit faster. Personally, yeah, I always expect myself to die kind of early on for an extraction shooter. But if you're not dying, you're not learning. Right? Like, okay, I learned what not to do in that first match. And basically, you take it a little slower. Now, the second one, I learned what to do so far. And now we'll... Kind of mix the first and the second together. Being a little bit more reckless here, but also aware. Try to be aware. Got him. So it kept the same ammo from last time. That's right. I never really refreshed it. Nice. Two. I never bought more rounds and uh, fixed up my ammo. All right. Take a quick look. Take that. Got some duct tape. Yeah, I wonder if you do bump up the difficulty if there's more enemies. Guy to my right. I don't know if he was inside there or to my right, right? Shit. Coming from the right side. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Now we're getting some more guys. I'm 
I'm gonna reload. I'm guessing double tapping R probably drops the magazine. Moving over to this body. Take that one. Got an HDD. Yep, hard drive. All right, where's our objective? Oh, we got one right here. Oh, so you actually can go inside. Do we open the door? Kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, Ghost Recon right now. I've been wanting to go back to like Wildlands and uh, and Breakpoint again for a little bit. All right, where is this objective at? Because it's like right here. Can we actually get ammo from these? No. Oh, here it is. <laughs> that actually sounds like a bug. All right, we're moving. Go put the next bug in here. Oh, there it is. Next one's in the back corner. Right here. To my left. Drop this. Okay, then we got the building to the right and then the building to the left. I mean, yeah. Straight ahead and then to the left. I'm going to do the one on the left first. Because then we can make our way over to the extract. I'm so nervous. I don't know which way they... Like, this is a really bad spot. I feel like I gotta just pick a direction, stick with it. Okay. Last time there was a guy all the way out there. Oh, missed it. Final building. Oh, we got two guys. Got him. I didn't even hesitate that time. I don't want to. I had to drop on them. Let's go drop these off or drop this thing. Where is it? This is right here. Icon can be a little bit hard to see. Oh God, there's another, another guy. Cover. Got him too.
The AI so far kind of give themselves away a lot of times, seems like. They talk a decent amount. Which, hey, I'm not complaining there. I'll take that. Take what I can get. Hey, we got Fang over here. Oh, oh, oh. Guy in the tower. Okay. And try taking him out from the second floor. Got a good view of the area this time. All right, let's try it. Double tap R. Yep, it does. And you can actually pick up the uh, magazine, so that's good. Yeah, like I said, I mean, it's definitely got some good starting points to it. I think with a few good maps, Pretty much like a dynamic uh, extraction shooter in itself. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I like that. Let me actually throw this in here. Did I drop the uh, the gun earlier? Oh, you know what I think I did? Can I pull this backpack fit in there? Will this one fit in here? Yes, it does. I'm gonna say this backpack he's got is pretty big right now. Damn. There we go. All right, let's try getting out of here. Extraction should be right there. This one does not close. Move. Last time I got shot by somebody over there. Okay. Four, three, two, one. And we made it out again. Not too bad. Not too bad. I, I actually kind of like that match there. Slowly. See, I, I say that's, that's decent development right there. If I don't uh, say so myself. You know, first, ta first time we got wrecked within 30 seconds. Second time actually got we did get shot but we got the objective done third time around cleared out like five enemies um i mean not that it's like not like crazy difficult or anything but yeah all right i'm actually gonna let's put this right here and then i'll take this backpack with me this time Then let's let's try out this gun. I'll put this into my take this one. Put this into my primary. What kind of ammo does it take? Thirty round five five six. I'm gonna put that away. Oh, so this has to be the AK seventy four M has to be a primary. Put these away. 
Hold on to that. Hold on to that. Spray can. We've still got some cash. All right, let's try buying something. We'll do this one quick. Superb, receive rewards. Let me see if I can actually throw the ACOG on. Spec. So where does all those items that I just received, here it goes. All right, let's try going here. Go to Trader. Um, and then we're going to go to Ammunition. Go Weapons. I think it was this one. Was it a Cult? I think so, but M4... Yeah, Cult. M4A1. All right, so let's do compatible items. Can we actually buy a scope for this one? Oh, we can. Air 15, rear sight. Huh, what's the difference between these two? Uh, one is 50, 50 bucks and the other one's 140. Hand guard. There's larger barrels you can get. All right, let's buy a bunch of ammo. And then do we need to buy like... The compatible search. Aha. So then you need to buy the magazine. Wait, that's AUG. That's an AUG magazine. Do we have... What kind of magazines are compatible with this? Compatible search. Can we see inspect? Like what kind of 30 round? Oh, it's this stand stan AG. Okay, it's this one. Buy three of these. Cool. Now let's go hit this. So I need to bring this guy. Keep one MP5. Okay, so they're automatically loaded. What kind of ammo does it come with? Can do it unload. Okay, it is just FMJ. Cool. All right, we'll bring that. Let's just grab a mission, jump in there, and we'll try to, like, almost speed run it. Not, like, necessarily, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Install more bugs. Place that. Let's do a different one. Let's do jammers this time. Challenges. All right, cool. Same ones as before. Crater. Hit this. Do 8.54 a.m. Deploy. Let's get it. Yeah, let me know if, if what you guys think so far, by the way. Uh, if you have been watching this episode this long, let me know in the comments um, what your thoughts are all about the game. Again, if you haven't left a like already, it does really make a huge difference. And if you are enjoying it, uh, leaving a like is the best thing that you can do.
for me or any other creator because it helps uh it really does make a huge difference so we'll see if we hit those 20 likes all right i came prepared all right so we can only oh nice got enough to carry all three Ooh, i like that make sure all my guns are ready to go Everything's good. All right, let's take a look. Where are we headed? Okay, nice. We're going to a different spot this time. So we're headed up north. We got to put three jammers, same spot. And then we've got this extraction that opens up in eight minutes. And this one that opens up in 10. All right, let's get moving. Getting shot already. See you, guy. Contact. Got one. I feel like they're starting to spawn in more enemies Shit. now. Contact. No. Uh. Well, this raid has ended up in a failure. You lost all your loot and the contract failed your reputation will decrease that was the first guy that actually had on full auto we'll fail your current contract yeah we can't really do anything else there oof well i guess i ran in a little bit too fast that guy came prepared or he was prepared for me shake this off and be ready to redeem yourself on the next operation yep damn we lost that gun Honestly, it's not that bad, though, because, I mean, look. I mean, buy one right now. 2,500, right? We've already made 9,000, so... Or uh, 4,000. So, in two, like, successful runs, we already made back enough to buy at least a decent weapon or, you know, an AK-74. Um, which we've, we've got plenty more in stock. Now, the thing that sucks, obviously, you lose everything, but seems pretty doable um i wonder how it works like squatting up with a whole party and everything uh if everybody loses their stuff or if one person survives like also huh that'd be a good thing to test um like it, i guess if somebody dies then they lose everything and then they go on to the next one i also wonder if there's friendly fire because in that case It'd be kind of uh, nerve-wracking, because what if somebody goes in, and then they get friendly fire hit by another player? They take all your items, and then extract. Ooh, it'd be like some PvP in itself. But, I guess we'll save that for potentially another one. If you guys do want another episode, definitely, like I said, leave a like on it. It makes a huge difference. Hopefully, I didn't do too terrible, but it was a first impressions, jumping into it completely blind. So... I hope the expectations were set there. Uh, but if you want some more, leave a like. I'll do my best to put out another episode if it does well enough. And then uh, we'll keep going from there. So stop by the Discord if you want announcements for any time I go live. I typically go live at 6 p.m. or 5 5.30 p.m. Eastern every weekday. And then start around 9 a.m. Eastern on weekends. Uh, playing a variety of different games. Sometimes stuff like this. Sometimes other stuff. But... That's it. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.